Hello again, boys and girls. It's so nice to see you again. Today I have a book called Kindness. Do you think the Bible can tell us anything about kindness? Yeah, the Bible is full of things about kindness. We're going to look at a few things um, that maybe we can do to show the people that we care. Kindness is making a card for somebody who's sick. Do you know anybody who's sick? Or do you like to make cards maybe for somebody's birthday? That is showing kindness. When my sister jumps out of the water and is all shivery, he likes to share his towel with her. That is showing kindness too. Kindness is sharing an umbrella when it's raining outside. Look at that. He's getting all wet. But now she's dry. The birds don't care that it's raining outside, it looks like. Kindness is helping rake the leaves. That's the thing for in the fall. See, he's helping. He's got the rake. And I don't know if that's his grandpa. Maybe it's a neighbor, but he's helping. Kindness is buttoning up a sweater for somebody who doesn't know how to button yet. Do you know how to button? Maybe you could help somebody button things up. Or maybe if you have shoes that tie, but most of the shoes Velcro now. But sometimes little kids need help with that too, and that's showing kindness. Oh, here's the one talking about what I just was talking about. Tying a shoe so my sister won't trip on her string. But most of them are Velcro, aren't they? Kindness is being gentle when I play with my puppy. Because puppies are little and they don't like it when you're rough with them. <gasps> or picking up a frog. You don't want to squish him because you would definitely hurt the little frog, wouldn't you? Do you like to pick up frogs or are they kind of yucky? I like frogs. <gasps> or hold a grasshopper. Can you see? Look at that tiny little grasshopper. And look at his puppy. He's laying on his butt because they're laying in the grass having a good time but they are being kind to the animals. That's very important. Kindness is making a surprise cake. He's kind of got a mess there, right? Hopefully he cleans it up, but whoever he's making it for would be really surprised. It's better if you have maybe an older brother or sister or mommy to help you do that. Taking daddy a drink when it's hot outside and look at, that's a really old lawnmower. Do you get to mow the grass or are you too small? You might be too little. That's kind of tricky. But you can surely get a drink for who's ever mowing the grass. <gasps> when a friend forgets a lun his lunch somewhere, kindness is sharing. So they're sharing sandwiches. <gasps> I see an apple. Do you see the apple? And the banana. Wow, he's got lots of stuff in his lunch. When a friend gets mad at you, Hmm, do you ever get mad at your friend? That's not really nice. It's good if you say you're sorry because sometimes you're just tired when you get mad at your friend. So it's good to say you're sorry. Kindness is giving my friend huh, part of my ice cream cone because what happened? Do you see that? She dropped it in the grass. Oh no. The only thing that's going to get that is probably a puppy dog, right? Hmm. Kindness is giving my friend a push on the swing. We can go back to going to the park again now, I think. So maybe you could do that with your friend. Probably only with your sister, though. Or sliding down on the slide. That's a fun thing to do. Do you have a wagon that you could pull your friend in? That would be kind. Maybe you can only pull your sister or brother right now because of COVID. When a friend breaks your model plane and wants a piece of your bubble gum, you give it to him because that's showing kindness. Saying thank you to somebody who's doing something for you, that's always really nice. Do you remember to say thank you to people that give you something or to help you with something? Showing kindness to a new person and making them feel like they belong is being very nice and kind too. Look at 
this little boy. He's holding the door open. That little girl. Look at all the books she's got. And what is that on top? She's got an apple there, too. Hmm. I wonder if she came from the library, because she's got lots of books. Kindness brings happiness to others. This little boy is praying. He says, Lord, help me to be kind. And he's kneeling beside his bed when he prays and talks to God. He's got a picture on his wall. Can you see? It's a picture he drew that night. Or maybe that's from a friend that gave it to him. And his teddy bear is waiting for him to crawl into bed. Hmm. What are some other ways that you can show kindness? Can you think of something you can do to show kindness? Maybe today you can just be nice and help. Maybe set the table or maybe do you have to pick your toys up in your room. That's showing kindness too. But anyways, I'm sure you can think of something to do. So we should pray and thank God again today because that is something we should do every day. Talk to God. He loves it when we talk to him. So let's pray. That's our way of talking to God. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the things that you give me and that I can share to show kindness to others. Thank you that you love me so very much and that I can show love by sharing and being kind to other people as well. Thank you for this day that you gave me and help me have a good day and be kind to all the others around me, whether it's my family or other people I see. Just help me to say hello might be all they need to have a great day. Thank you that you love us and that you have these stories that help us to learn more about you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, it was nice to see you again, and I just pray that you will have a really good day. Bye, and remember to be kind to somebody today and every day. Talk to you later.